Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are going to be decluttering my eyeshadow palette and see which ones we're going to get rid of and which ones we're going to keep. So if you'd like to see this, please stay tuned. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be decluttering all of my eyeshadow palettes. So I want to show you guys what I have and see the shelf behind me. This is all my Jeffree Star stuff is up here. Now I own everything of his basically except I need blood sugar and all of his minis and um, beauty killer An alien. I need that too, but I need like his lip bolts and all that and someday I'll get them. But I really want to go through the second shelf right here because we have everything on this shelf. So I have a few palettes that were in my drawer that is a classic. This is a keeper and this is Morphe's James Charles. I'm keeping this palette. I love it. It's an original. I like it. And then we have Manny MUA Glam Palette with Morphe. I personally, I like this palette. A lot of people did not like it, but I like it. I think the colors are great. They're nice and rich and the highlights are great. I. This is a good palette. And then another palette I found in my dresser was the 24 Main Event by Morphe and MMMM -M -M Mitchell. I love MMMM -M -M Mitchell. He is an amazing makeup artist. That guy, whew, I would love for him to do my, my makeup. So this palette's really cool because the very bottom line, those are liner, they're water, water activated liners. So I really like this palette a lot. I've only used it maybe twice, but it needs some love. So we're gonna keep this one definitely. So in total, I think I own 160 something palettes. I would have to look on my phone, but yeah, that's a lot of palettes to own. And I was thinking to myself the other day, like, what palettes am I going to, what am I going to want to keep in two years from now? What palettes are going to be my go-tos? Because there's still palettes I haven't gotten yet that are going to be palettes that I'm going to keep forever, like Tati's palette. I don't own that. I need to get that palette. That's on my wish list. Tati's beauty palette or whatever it's called. It's a beautiful palette. You know, and other people are like, eh, about Tati, you know, leave her alone. So, as I showed you guys, we got, you know, Jeffree Star, we got Blue Blood, we got Thirsty, we got Blood Money. This is uh, Queen Bitch lip set behind there. Then we have Jawbreaker, we have Orgy, we have Cremated. And Jeffrey's pictures are behind here. The ones I've gotten so far. Some of them I've lost actually when I have bought in his stuff. Then we have the conspiracy. I love this palette so much. Bloodlust is such an amazing palette. Conspiracy is good too. Um, a lot of people tell me I'm stupid for buying it, but I wanted to have it. I watched that whole documentary. I thought it was good. So we also have the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette, which I think for Morphe, you know, for Jeffree Star, he blew it out of the water. Great palette. One of my faves. I love this hat. I rock it all the time. Just because it's dirty a little bit. And then I have this one over here, the white one that my friend Monica gave to me because both these ladies live in very hot climates, so they never need them. And so it's so super awesome to send that. And then on here, I have from Naked Tutorials, I have her pop socket. I won't use it. Why is it being a bump? It's really cool. 
I want the evil one. I have to get that one to match it. And this is a picture of when John and I did one of our first face-offs. It was so funny. I think it was our first face-off we ever did. And we're gonna start the series back up, guys, and that's when John and I will face off, and he does one part of my face, one half, and I do the other half, and we see who does a better job. It's pretty cool. So, I got some pictures right here. We have Lady Gaga from House Laboratories, and then so thank you, you know, all that, for buying your products. Then we have my boy Manny from Lunar Beauty. All right, let's start with, I got this amazing, <laughs> I think it's so cute. Look at how cute this is. It's from Bath and Body Works. I think I wanna put this up for sale, um, but I've had it for a while now. I've never used it, but it's a cute cosmetic bag. It, you get that a lot in there, actually. Like the whole size of him. You get that decent amount of stuff in there. He's cute. So let's start off with Glam Light. I have their Street Taco. Uh, which one is this? Glam Donut. Then I have their Chocolate Donut. Then I have their Pie pie palette. Now I'm not going to get rid of these because I absolutely love Glam Light. Look at the packaging. It's nice and fluffy. It's fun. And their pigmentation is amazing. Their glitters are amazing. Just um, fun things. I got all these palettes in, what were they called? Um, they're boxes. I have all the boxes still. But they were like boxes you bought that came with the palette, eyeshadows, lip glosses, whatever, bronzer, highlight. They were great boxes. So I haven't bought a box because they haven't had one since. So. They have Shana B Miami eyeshadow palette, which this is a little okay palette. I got this from Epstein. Use it once. I thought it was an alright palette. That's in a I don't know section. Next we have Complex Culture. This is a really nice palette. I used it once very lightly. Then we have Hip Dot. We have Zion. And then we have Sinope. I'm going to be keeping these for sure. I love Hip Dot. I love their formula. Then we have LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette. And this is a great palette. This was given to me by Janet Reviews Boxes. Or Janet Review Box. Janet, we'll just say. <laughs> Then we're going to be coming up on my Peachy Queen collection. Now, if you don't know who Peachy Queen is, Peachy Queen is an indie. She has a bunch of palettes and stuff. So we have Spicy Sriracha. I'll Be There For You, which is definitely a friend's palette, but I love the colors. We have Alien Queen. This is one of my favorite palettes she's ever made. And this is Kush Queen. This palette, you guys have to see the size of the pans of the eyeshadow. Look at how nice those are. One of my favorite palettes of all time. Then we have You Are My Sunshine. And then we have Never Trust the Living. Look dirty, but Never Trust the Living is Beetlejuice. I thought that was a pretty awesome palette to get. So those are my Peachy Queen palettes, I think. I don't think I have any more. I forgot one of the Peachy Queen palettes and it's called Malibu. It's pretty cool. 
I like it. It makes me think of a Barbie. So next we have Pete. No, we have Nettie Bird. Now Nettie Bird Cosmetics is a Christian organization company. Um, they're faith based. So this one is vitamin C palette. This is sibling royalty palette. And then we have the Feminine Energy Palette. These palettes are really cool. I like them, but I found them somewhere else on Amazon, the exact same palettes for $10. Not $25, like Nettie Bird sells them for. So that kind of, I was like, what? Yeah. So, no more Nettie Bird for me. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna grab the palettes on top. We have Nikki Tutorials, which this is one of my favorite palettes. And I have to thank Joy, because Joy really got me into this palette a lot. She's like, girl, you have to get it. You have to get it. So I got it. And this palette's so cool. You got the good, you got the evil, or bad, dark, light. And then when you open it up, there is the gorgeous palette. Now the mirrors are so cool, because this is normal magnified. Now this is like, triple magnified or whatever uh, however close up it gets but yeah pretty cool right and then we have the card which it will tell you how to use her palette a lot of people do not know how to use Nikki's palette so basically guys the shimmers use your fingers that's how you get such a great look off of that now that is a definite keeper that stays in my collection all right, so this whole bag right here is full of ColourPop's collaboration with Hocus Pocus, Disney. Disney's Hocus Pocus. Gather round, sisters. <laughs> I love this movie. This is a classic movie for anyone that likes Halloween. I'll show you guys the palette. The palette's amazing. I thought this collab was probably I think personally their best collaboration ColourPop has done with anyone besides Raw Beauty Christie. But look at how pretty the packaging is. Packaging is everything. Look at that. Look at how cute they are. Beautiful palette. And I have the lipsticks, the lip liners, the eyelashes. I think I still have all of them. Um, I have the, the glitters. I have three or four eyeliners that came with it as well. <clears throat> so it's, it's all in there. But this collection is not going anywhere. This is the only ColourPop <coughs> collaboration I ever bought the whole set. And it was well worth the money. It was like a hundred and fifty something dollars, I think, or it might have been more. So as we're talking about ColourPop, let's pull out my ColourPop palettes. Now, ColourPop is a must-have. I love their formula. They're inexpensive, you know, for palettes, and they just rock. So we have Truly Madly Deeply. We have Lil Ray of Sunshine. We have at Forest Sight with Raw Beauty Christie. Now this, uh, this is one of my favorite palettes. One of my favorites. We have Blush Crush. We have Nude Mood. We have Big Poppy. We have Going Coconut. Coconuts. I have the Hello Kitty. I wasn't too thrilled with this palette. I have Sailor Moon, Pretty Guardian. Now I, oh I do have Sweet Talk. I didn't know I had Sweet Talk. I do have Sweet Talk. And here, let me just show you. Their palettes are so awesome. I didn't know I had Sweet Talk. So here's Flutter By, Butterflies. Butterfly and then I also have their ColourPop Glitter Stash, which is amazing. 
so that is my ColourPop collection. Besides, I have like eyeliners and mascara and things like that from ColourPop. And I love their skin line. I love their skin line so much. Love it. great palette. I just love ColourPop. I really do. Okay guys, so let's see what we have. Um, let's grab from on top. This is Stacy Marie. She is an amazing makeup artist and this is Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival 3. Love Tahiti. Now this palette guys is so worth the money. Look at that. This is pigmented it will stain your eyes be careful but it's such an amazing palette and this is a definite keeper I would like to get the rest of that collection because I wasn't able to get my hands on their PR box I don't know if they're sold out or whatnot but that has the lippies that come with it there's a mirror there's highlighters I think that's it but I want the whole collection so next we have my boy my boy Hank, Hank and Henry's collab with Bianca Lenars, the tie dye palette. Guys, you want color on your eye? You want a good yellow? Because yellow is hard to find, a good yellow. Get this palette. Look at that. I did a look, I will insert a picture up, of a gay pride look for this month, and I used this palette and it just came out phenomenal the yellow is so bright and so let's talk about hank and henry let's see what we got here with hank and henry now i am going through them right now so the first one we have is living in color most people do have this palette this is his I believe this was his first palette he released. Great palette to own. We have the Teddy Bear palette and the Poison palette. Now these are both signed by Henry. So these are very, very meaningful to me. So I love these palettes. I do have, what was it called? The Walk in the Garden? Um, I have the mauves, the berries, and nudes. And amazing colors, guys. Amazing. Just amazing. That's all I'm going to say. And then I have one of his palettes from the Makeup Institute, and I think it's called Oasis, I think. There it is. And I wanted to just show it to you guys because... That is one of his palettes that he uses in his teaching of makeup. So I thought that was really cool. But I am missing... I think I'm missing four of his palettes. And I need to get all of them. So I have to finish my Hank and Henry collection. I love ABH. These are the only eyeshadows I have of hers right now. I really want the pig. I want the pink one. I want the blue one. I want the orange one. I want them all. I love them. Now let me show you the coloring on these. These are amazing palettes. They have only been used one time. I love this one. Beautiful. So those are definite keepers. We're gonna keep those. So let's talk about Huda Beauty. I love me some Huda. I love Huda Beauty. Um, so her latest collection of eyeshadows that just came out were the browns and I have the caramel brown right here. And it came with a lippy set, and it came with this bag, too. It came inside this adorable bag. It says Huda Beauty on it. Next, I have the Light Nudes. 
Rich Nude. I have um, Amethyst. I have Mauve Obsession. This was my first Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty palette. And I have Ruby Obsession, which I just used the other day. It's the only one with nothing on it, so there you go. So those are my eyeshadows that I have from her right now. Um, I do really, really want to buy Naughty. Naughty is a beautiful palette, and that is definitely on my list. And so is, is it Mercury? I want that one too. But I want the rest of the browns. I want the other two. So then I bought this on a whim. I bought this for my wedding. And I bought KKW Mrs. West eyeshadow palette. Guys, I've done two looks with this. And I'm not impressed by her eyeshadows. I'm not. When I bought this, you see right here the shimmer? When I held it up like this, it went flying out. But luckily, I got to fit back in there. But guys, I just cannot make a look just work the way I want it to for my wedding. My wedding makeup is going to be out of control. Not out of control. It's going to be very nice and beautiful, but this isn't doing it. So that will be sold. Okay, I have one Lady Gaga palette and it's called Seduction 4-Way. And that's my Has Laboratories and there's that. I think this is a really fun palette. I think it's great. I have one Lime Crime palette and that's Venus 3. I did get this in my boxy. Uh, it was an okay palette. I do want to get Lime Crimes, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's the blacks and the whites and the smoky eye or something like that. That's an okay palette. Now, I have Artist Contour, Salent. A lot of people have this palette. I've never used it. I have no no like wants to use it so it's gonna be sold Kim Chi guys let's talk about Kim Chi I love Kim Chi Kim Chi is so cute or she's so cute she's beautiful but I got this palette I was not expecting this to be in one of my bitsy beauty boxes but I was so happy it, it was because you can make a wedding look with this palette. I've done it before, I'll do it again. Awesome palette. It's a keeper. And then let's talk about my boy, Manny. My boy, Manny, Eternal Eclipse. This eyeshadow palette, guys, look at the packaging. It's so nice. Look at that. And guys, I consider this a goth palette. I don't know if goth people would agree with me, but it's a definite, if you know Manny, like, think about it. All his stuff is about astrology. So, yeah. Manny is an astrology guy. Then we have Cara Beauty. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Cara Beauty, but this is the Girl Scout. And this palette has been loved and still will be loved. I love Car Beauty. I love this palette. I have another one. I just got to find it. We'll find it going through this collection, I'm sure. All right, guys. I have the e.l.f. Mint Melt. I'm sure a lot of you guys have this. I have LA Girl Eye Lux. This is given to me by my friend Chelsea. I love it. It's a great little palette. It's great to keep in your purse. Then we have Ofra, and this one is called Signature Pal Symphony. And that's a really pretty palette. Sorry, guys. 
That's a beautiful palette. I love it. Then I have my only Pat McGrath item. <laughs> I think it's called Sublime. Yeah. And there we go. I have Pat McGrath eyeshadow, guys. It's the only one I own right now. Um, her formula is amazing. It really is amazing. So I wish her prices were a little cheaper, but you pay for what you get. This is hard candy. John picked this up for me one day. It was so sweet of him. Um, he knows I love glitter. And there's the pretty glitters, guys. I'm a glitter hole. Love glitter. And now we have Revolution. I like Revolution. This was given to me by Tammy um, for our Christmas collab. And I love this little palette. It's a great palette. Now the Queen Eloise. I like this palette, but I wasn't so hyped up about it like everyone else was. I wasn't like the first one to get it. I got this months after it came out. Months. So I love it though. You know. But this might be going in the sell giveaway pile. I never use it. That's why we're decluttering. And then I have Violet Voss. I love Violet Voss. Violet Voss, yes. This is Coral Crush. And tell me this is not a summer palette. It screams spring and summer, screams it. Then we have Juvia's Place. Okay, let's go from here. I have the Nubian 2. Nubian 3 Coral. I just love the artwork. Alright, now we have all the minis. We have the Sweet Pinks. We have the Topes. We have the Nubian Glow. We have the Mauves. Now Juvia's Place is... <laughs> I love, love Juvia's Place. I wish I owned all their palettes. I have the Nudes. And then I had the Berries by Juvia. Now all of these are going to be capped. I am trying to build up my Juvia Place collection. This was all, I gotta go in a haul. They just had a major sale and I should have taken advantage of it. I really should have. But Sorry guys, I'm thirsty. But Juvia's Place is where it's at. Okay, then I have LA Splash Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette. I just did a review on this. And this is their Magic Palette. Now, this palette was actually really nice and this is a great fall palette. Great fall. And then we have Sassy Sneers Dose of Colors. This is an amazing palette. This is great for oop, the fall. Anytime actually, but great fall colors. We have Violet Voss. I don't know what it's called, but here, here it is. Right there. It's got to be from Ipsy. Then we have Milani, guys. I have had this palette forever. This is one of Milani's first palettes that they came out with, so I just kept it to keep it, but I won't be using it. Okay, 
Then we have Cover Girl. We have Trunked Queen Ship. And then we have Trunk Days. Now, Cover Girl is one of the original makeup lines that came out in the beginning. And I personally, I like their stuff. I gotta retry these. It's been a minute. So, I'll put these aside. But it's all broken up. I have the graffiti nudes. I have the nudes. And the blush nudes. I don't have many drugstore makeup brands. I have a hard time finding palettes I like made by drugstore brands. So I have LA Colors. These palettes, this one has been touched rose. And then we have the nudes, and this palette has not been used at all. Brand new. I found e.l.f. Rose Water. It's a cute little palette. Now, guys, if you don't remember this palette from Ipsy, this was like one of their first palettes they put in their box or their bag back years ago. And it was Wonder Beauty Wondrous Seascape. Now this palette has been used and abused. I love this palette. I've had this for a long time. Long time. Then we have the Real Her I, Beautiful, I Feel Beautiful. Now when this came to me, one of the shadows was broken. So I need to fix that. It has not, it's been swatched but not used. So hopefully I can fix that. Then we have one of my favorite brands too. I love Too Faced. This is the Gold Chocolate. This is an amazing palette for the fall. I love it. And it smells so good. It smells like chocolate, guys. We have Makeup Studio Ease to Wear Eyeshadow Palette. That's going in the sell or giveaway. We have Violet Voss Essentials. This is an older palette. This is from Ipsy or BoxyCharm. Now we have um, Essential Thunder's Dominique Cosmetics. And there are those. I do like this palette, but I, I rarely use it. I have Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn, which Ace Beauty is amazing, and I love that palette. I found the other car beauty. It's Purple Haze. And there she is. She's been loved quite a bit. Then we have Moods, Laura Shanice. But that is so awesome. The brush fell out. I use this one time, guys. It's been used once. Then we have Tetris. And I have not used this palette. I swatched the blue. Then I have Seat London, the editor's palette. A lot of people liked this video I did. Um, it had quite a, quite a bit of views. I have Ellie Girl's nudes. I have Cargo Cosmetics it's Boxy Charm. So there's that. And then I have the Boxy Charm palette they came out with with a long time ago. This is Hello Charmers. I still have those. I'm going to keep these because they are collectibles. Boxy Charm has been around for a little while. I would, 
I would like to see them come out with some amazing palettes. That would be so awesome. You know, they have the money. Come out with some good stuff, guys. Then I have Tarte, Tartuses in Bloom. This is an amazing palette. And this one smells like chocolate too. We have the Tartuses Pro. We have Tarte Clay Play. This is a really nice palette. Now, I have Fenty Beauty's um, Macaroon Spice. I love this palette. And I had all my palettes on this big shelf on my wall, guy. And this thing went boom on the ground. It went flying on the ground. And it broke this palette. This palette got ruined. It took away, I have some in there, but that color and then the gold, those just, they cracked and they fell, man. So, that's a great palette, though. Oh, Ella Louise, Alamar Cosmetics. I love Alamar. They have amazing, amazing palettes. Spanglish has a beautiful palette. And the other one is beautiful too, but I can see that my one shimmer, when it came to me, this shimmer up here was broken and they had no replacements for it. I was so upset. That's why I'm very iffy about BoxyCharm. I sure guys say it's vegan eyeshadow and blush palette. I like this palette. I haven't used it in a long time. It's a beautiful palette. Great palette. Let's see what else we have here, guys. Okay, we have Pure Festival, was it 2.0? Beautiful colors. Okay, do you guys, or have you ever heard of Kooky Cosmetics or Kooky? Um, I have Pure Magic and I have the Rib, a Ribbian, a Ribbian Ice. Um, now, these eyeshadow palettes I think are great. This is K-Beauty, guys. And Pure Magic. One of the eyeshadows broke, but... I think this is a great palette. These palettes are a little dirty. They've been used. But I think that's the rest of my drugstore makeup. Okay. All of the lights. I bought this palette from Five and Below. I didn't think it was going to work at all. Uh, I'll tell you guys, look at the colors. It works really well. It really does for a $5 palette. You can't go wrong. Okay. Then we have Revolution. I have the Sphunks. And then I have Flawless 4. And this has many colors in it if you look at it. I think Revolution's a pretty good company. Here's some of my BH cosmetic palettes I own. I own the Galaxy Chick, Aura's Nights, or Lights, Silver Flare, and then Take Me Back to Brazil. And I'll show you guys these palettes because they are so awesome. This palette has never been used, I don't think. It's been swatched, but never used. And look at all those amazing colors. I know a lot of people like this palette. Now these, the Galaxy Check, I just had to have these. Look at these colors, guys. Are they not phenomenal or what? Just amazing. And then we have Aurora Lights. And 
And now we have Solar Flare. And this one is more, that's really a great spring, or not spring, fall palette. With the colors and all that, that's a great fall palette. Then I have Nomad Cosmetics Berlin Underground, which is a classic. If you uh, can't tell, I love this palette a little bit. <laughs> this is a great palette. I've had it for a long time. I love Nomad Cosmetics. The owners are so nice and they're just so cool. Now, if you, for instance, tag them on an Instagram post or YouTube, they will respond back to you. They are that awesome. Great people. I'm trying to think of their names. We have Storybook Cosmetics. I like Storybook Cosmetics a lot. Look at it. It looks like a book, right? And this is a uh, Briar Rose. Little Briar Rose. And you open it and it looks, you got your mirror there, but then you have all your beautiful colors over there. And it's like a book. I love Storybook Cosmetics. I want all of them. I want all the star Storybook Cosmetics. I really want um, the Willy Wonka one. Now I have this palette, it's called Fruit Pie Filling. You can be, I won this from Bethany, one busy mama. And this is a keeper. I will always keep this palette because if you give me something, I keep it. And I'll keep this for years to come. <laughs> I'm not having a fun time today with these inserts. Okay, then we have, now this is from Hip Dot, and a lot of people have never seen this palette. It's 35 Shades of Me, and there it is. This palette came out, I'm trying to see if it says, I don't know when it came out, but guys, it's not on their website. It's I've never seen it anywhere. I don't even remember how I bought this because it's been that long. Then I have um, Cherimoa Sugar Coated Max Makeup. It's a nice palette. We have the Iconic London um, Day to Slay. I love this palette. This is uh, the first palette that Jen and I did face off with and it's a gorgeous palette. You can make some gorgeous looks with this. It's been loved. Yeah, this is a great palette. Good memory is with this palette. You guys should see Jen do his makeup. He's not his makeup, but do my makeup. He's amazing. Then we have Profusion. Now, Profusion is more on the more less expensive side. And for what you pay for your palettes, it's quite amazing the pigment and everything. How well these colors work. I have, uh, what's this one called? Spectrum. And look at those bright colors. It's an amazing palette. And then I have Starlet. It's another beautiful palette. And then guys, I have some palettes down here that we haven't even talked about yet. Okay, I have Natasha Denona's palette. I have not used this. I don't think I'm going to. I don't know. I've never tried Natasha Denona, but I don't know if it's good or not. I might keep it or might sell it. I'm not sure. I got this in the giveaway from Joy. Love struck. Love struck. It was a Valentine's um palette from, I'm trying to think what box she gets, but colors are beautiful. And this came with like glitter, lipstick, um, the beauty blender. I love my beauty blender Joy gave me. Love it. So Love Struck is awesome. Let's see what else we have here. 
We have um, the bomb, smoke bomb with foil. It's the little palette I got in one of my mystery boxes I get. But that's a nice little palette to keep in your purse, you know? Or if you're traveling. We have Swipe Left. And this is by Laurel Cosmetics. And this is a beautiful palette. We might be using this palette today, guys, to make a look. Wow, I love it. This is beautiful. I got this from Stephanie from Bitsy Beauty. She gave this to me, or she didn't give it to me, but it was in my box. Then I am going to, let's see. We have Beauty Creations, Irresistible. I think, if I remember correctly, I had issues with this palette at first, but it could have been my primer or just me, but I want to retry it. Give it a second chance. Then I have um, Bailey Sarian's Estate. I love this palette. A lot of people don't like it, but I do. I like it a lot. I've used it quite a few times. I need to do a video on it, actually. Then I have BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Mimosa. This is a great, great summer palette. I have to make a look on this, guys. I made a look, I made the whole video, and it, boom, disappeared off my phone somehow. Some of the parts of the video was missing. Fun. Then I got One Size Patrick Star Visionary. I thought this palette was great. A lot, I, I love how it looks like that. Because it messes you up, you think that it's off centered, you know? I, I got it and I'm like, did they send me a broken palette? But here's Patrick Star's amazing palette. I like Patrick Star. I like him a lot. Then I have. Uh, Tammy just gave this to me Romantic Beauty Tropics. I like this eyeshadow petal. I show palette a lot. It reminds me of Cara Beauty, kind of. Beautiful palette. Beautiful. I was given these palettes. Um, I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest with you. We have the Naughty by BH Cosmetics. This is a Christmas one. And then I have a brand new, never used, Frostbit 35 Shades of Profusion. The mirror came broken. As you guys can see, it's cracked. And here are all the colors. It's a very, it's not an alley palette. It just isn't. <laughs> and then we have, um, we have Seattle London. This palette that came out, what is it called? Um, the Velvet Palette. And then we ha I found two co more color pops. I have um, Melt For You and 143. And then I left the best for last, in my opinion. One of my favorite makeup artists besides Jeffree Star and Stacey Marie. There's a lot of them I like, but I love Jaclyn Hill. Stop hating on her, guys. Man, leave the girl alone. All those gossip channels, you know, on YouTube, they just always are attacking poor Jaclyn. I feel so bad for her. I really do. All right, let's jump into this. I own all of our eyeshadow palettes. 
so here's Jaclyn Hill volume one. I have loved this palette very much. It's one of my favorite palettes. It's actually not in bad condition considering how many times I've used it. Then we have Jaclyn volume two, which is kind of more on the risky side for her with colors. It's a beautiful palette. This one actually you can tell has more wear to it. Then I have the, the Volt, and we have Bling Boss. Now these are the eyeshadows that everyone was saying, oh, I'm getting mold in my eyeshadows. There is no mold in my eyeshadows. If you have mold in your eyeshadows, you're probably keeping your stuff next to moisture. And I believe it was this palette right here, Dark Magic. Was it Dark Magic people were complaining about? one of them I'm trying to think which one it was armed and gorgeous I think it was armed and gorgeous yep yeah. now look at how nice this palette is and then ring the alarm amazing all right guys so those are my 160 something palettes I own but we are decluttering. I'm going to show you the pile I am getting rid of as soon as I go make piles. All right. So guys, that was so much fun decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. I really needed to and it's been a long time coming. So we did decluttered 46 palettes. Yes, out of the collection. As you can see on my shelf below, my shelf looks a lot different. It's got a lot less palettes, but it has my important palettes. The palettes I'm going to use forever and want to keep forever. Like my Jeffree Stars. I will never get rid of my Jeffree Star palettes. They are gold to me. And I just love, you know, my, my Huda, Huda and Colourpop and everything else that's mixed up in there. Nikki and Glamly and all that. So I'll get, show you guys a picture um, of all the palettes I decluttered and I will be selling them on my Macari. So if you guys want to head on over to my Macari, all you have to do is go to my YouTube page and onto your right hand side, you'll see Macari, Etsy, uh, Poshmark. You'll see all my different links to my stores. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this and I had a lot of fun with you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, guys. So here are all the palettes I will be getting rid of. If you have any interest in any of these at all, please get a hold of me. And I will see you guys later on the next one. We're going to go declutter the makeup room next.